everyone, iOS 17.0.1 has just officially came out, which is very random, but I'm actually very, very excited about it because this is going to be probably one of the times where Apple's probably, you know, whenever we get a new 0.0.1 update after a major release, it's very important because this is the one that's going to be fixing a lot of things. Now, from what I could see from when I initially saw it, I took a screenshot of it. I promise. I don't know why it's not showing this time. Oh, there we go. I had to scroll down. So this time I had to come from the beta of iOS 17, believe it or not. And this update was about 6.19 gigabytes, but it's not going to be this size. I think it's only going to be like a couple hundred megabytes coming from the actual iOS 17 update. But within this, it just gives me the full book notes of basically what was within the whole entire iOS 17 update. But this is essentially going to be a bug fix and improvement update. No new features. As far as we can tell, there's probably going to be some new like weird things in the background that some people are going to be able to see. But for the most part, this is a pretty basic update, which is super, super important. And this is exactly what's needed. Funny enough, I had a, like, a feeling that Apple was going to push out this update today. I have no idea why. They don't really do it on, I don't remember the last time they did it on a Thursday. They did do it on a Friday before, Mondays, Tuesdays. A Thursday, it's been a you know, minute since they've done that. So in this case, it's going to be a basic update. But these basic updates are very important because what they end up bringing are random things that will end up improving iOS 17 in general. So as of right now, this update, although it's a you know, fairly minor update, these are the type of updates that are very, very important because it's going to make iOS 17 way more stable for the most part. Now, another thing that you're going to have to remember is that with a device like the iPhone 15 on iOS 17.0.1, you know, if you're trying to, if you're getting an iPhone 15, you have to remember that you should probably stay on iOS 17. When you officially get the iPhone 15, you may have to go and upgrade your device if you have an iOS 17.0.1 older iPhone, but the original iPhones probably like the iPhone 15s are probably going to come to you with iOS 15, with iOS 17 since they're already being shipped. So keep that in mind if you want, if you want to transfer it to the latest iPhone. Keep your iPhone on the older version and then buy it, you know, the iPhone 15 and then transfer your data. I probably would not recommend updating just yet. So just keep that in mind in the back of your head as well. But otherwise, I would probably start recommending people to start upgrading to iOS 17 if you don't plan on you know, buying an iPhone 15. Just because, you know, 17.0.1 is already here, I'd probably recommend going down this direction now. So that probably covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.